Well, it's rare that a person could claim to have fought alongside General MacArthur and met people who could cure cancer. But what if that person was a humble Brisbane dog? Jesse Grayson has the amazing story of Smokey, the Yorkshire Terrier. As far as life stories go, Smokey the Yorkshire Terrier almost defies belief. A World War II hero fighting in Papua New Guinea, a Hollywood star, but most importantly, a healer of soldiers. It's a story that most people know well in the United States, but didn't realise that Smokey the war dog, the world's first therapy dog, was actually a Brisbane dog. There are six monuments honouring Smokey in the United States. Now her hometown has one too. Smokey's American owner, Bill Wynn, is still alive. At 94, he's too frail to travel, but still strong enough to tell her story. I uh, got Smokey through a friend was driving in the jungle of Nadzab, New Guinea. Smokey flew in warplanes with General Douglas MacArthur and met Dr William Mayo, founder of the world-famous cancer clinic. He was a young lieutenant uh, in Papua New Guinea at the time when uh, he first uh, suggested that uh, Smokey should uh, become a, what we know now as a post-traumatic stress syndrome dog. She also walked the wards in Royal Brisbane Hospital in the 1940s, brightening the days of injured soldiers. And this monument's not just for Smokey, it's for all of the animals that have helped serve our men and women during conflicts over the last 100 years. But today was another day for Smokey and her amazing tale. Jessie Grayson, 10 News.